what's up guys so i hope you all are having a super wonderful experience learning and practicing english i'm jay and i'm back with another super interesting lesson for all of you guys so just stay focus here fine so what our today's lesson is actually going to be about let's just first understand that fine so our today's lesson is going to be about homophones or you call them homonyms fine so what you, we will do we will first understand what homophones and homonyms are we will get to see what sort of problems you receive or you come across when you go for the competitive exams and that too in your general day-to-day -day life fine and in the next step we will understand how you are supposed to work them out correctly fine so first let me give you an example and uh, understand the homophones things here we have an example accept and accept so guys these two words sound similar their pronunciation is what this one is pronounced as accept and the another one is also pronounced as accept so when you do receive you get to see some pair of words of containing two words or more than two words this is what called homophones or homonyms the word with uh, the pair of words containing two words or more than two words with their pronunciation exactly or almost same but their spellings are either same in some rare cases and their spellings are in most of the cases are different along with their meanings fine so um, like uh, you are given ex example have you her proposal him nobody would do that fine so uh, this is like uh, you come across this example and you are to fill these blank spaces with using these words accept and accept so what are the steps what you will do you will first understand the tense of the sentence that uh, i told you in our first lesson fine so have you her proposal here have you have refers to the past to the present perfect tense so here the form of the verb will be third form him nobody would do that so as we have here two options and their both pronunciation is exactly same so let's just pronounce this uh, sentence have you accept her proposal the his friends answers accept him nobody would do that so how you will get to understand which accept is to be used here either with the, the spelling a double c e p t or which one with the spelling a x c e p t in the which blank space so then you will do understand their word meanings accept is to admit is to agree to something fine when you do agree to something that means you have accepted that thing and here the accept with the spelling e x c e p t it means to exclude to not count in a group fine when you don't count something in a group or when you set it apart from a particular group that means you have uh, selected all the items except of that particular one fine so here have you accepted the form and the word that you will use will be a double c e p t e d accepted means kya tumne uska proposal accept kar liya hai kya tum uske proposal se admit karte ho his friend answers accept him that means use chhod kar use exclude karke nobody would do that matlab he indicates his friend says ki is ladke ko chhod kar 
कोई भी उसका प्रपोजल एक्सेप्ट नहीं करेगा नो बडी वुड डू दैट टू वॉट एक्सेप्टिंग द प्रपोजल सो दिस इज हाउ यू आर सपोज टू fill the blanks and work out the problems that are asked in so many of competitive exams including gate as well fine so guys what uh, the problem comes when you start filling this examples either you get confused with their spellings or their uh, word meanings so i would suggest to i would suggest you to work out as many problems or some homophones and homonyms as much as you can like there are a vast number of examples fine so what all the homonyms we are going to be cover in today's lesson we have they are there there second principal and the other one principal third break break fourth stairs and stairs fifth immigrants and immigrant fine so we will be considering these examples in our this lesson and guys there can be as i told you already there can be as many examples as you want to go for so let's just first understand uh, the examples and uh, the these homophones and what sort of problems you can come across using these fine so considering the first one Uh, let's take an example uh, where are they bringing their books from space bringing books from home fine and uh, you are to fill these blanks with these using these three words they are there and there fine so as we did in the last example what you will do first you will understand the sentence fine so let's do that where are they bringing their books from वे अपनी बुक्स कहाँ से ला रहे हैं ब्रिंगिंग बुक्स फ्रॉम होम फाइन सो लेट मी जस्ट फर्स्ट टेल यू वॉट दीज वर्ड्स विद देयर स्पेलिंग बट सेम प्रोनाउंसिएशन मीन्स दिस वर्ड विद द स्पेलिंग दे आर इट इज एन एब्रिविएशन फॉर दे आर फाइन द वर्ड T H E R E there it refers to a location or indication to something indication to something fine some place and this one with the spelling T H E I R it is a possessive pronoun and uh, it uh, is used to show the position for the pronoun they like uh, like we have for he we call as his for she we have this possessive pronoun as her fine like uh, if i have a brother and uh, i co uh, somebody told me told tells me that uh, he is your brother and he is my brother fine so this is what there is about unki jise aap hindi mein samajhte ho in simplest language unki so where are they ve log bringing their unki books from ve apni books kahan se la rahe hain so bringing yahan sabse pehle kya aayega pronoun that is with r here we have this present uh, continuous tense so they are the abbreviation they are bringing 
बुक्स बुक्स किसकी हैं द बुक्स आर ऑफ दीज गाइस दे द दे जो हैं इनकी बुक्स हैं सो हियर टू शो द पोजीशन ऑफ दीज दे वी हैव यूज्ड देयर बुक्स फ्रॉम देयर होम फाइन दिस इज हाउ यू आर सपोज टू वर्क आउट दिस प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैवेंट यूज्ड दिस देयर क्यों यूज नहीं किया बिकॉज देयर वॉज नो नीड यू आर टू यूज यू आर टू वर्क आउट दिस प्रॉब्लम करेक्टली फाइन सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल प्रिंसिपल एंड प्रिंसिपल सो फॉलोइंग the that most students were involved in the crime the of the school cited to allow all students for punishment and you are giving these two choices first one is principal with the spelling p r i n c i p a l and the another one with the spelling principal p r i n c i p l e fine so first again understand the example following the dash principal we don't know the spelling which principal either this one or this one we will use here we are to use principal only following the principal that most students were involved in the crime the principal of the school decided to allow all the students for punishment kya hai we know that head of the school is called as principal and the another principal is the siddhant the rules the obligations we follow fine but which one is the principal of the school and which one is the obligations that we follow so the spelling the word p r i n c i p a l this is the principal of the school and the other one with the spelling this is called the obligations the rules that we follow that uh, uh, we base our life on fine so here following the principles we have followed the principal principal which principal that most students were involved in the crime humne principal follow kiya hai ki most cases mein students ek crime mein involved hote hain to the principal of the school decided to allow all the students for the punishment fine so this is how you are to work out the problems you are to understand you are to focus keen over the spellings you are you should know the more you will practice more you will get to understand about how to work out the problems moving on to the next example um, break fine and break both sound similar the driver pushed the break as soon as the lady indicated at the hotel where she wanted to take a at and you are given this choice you are to fill these spaces using these two words break their spellings are different the first one is with the spelling b r e a k and the another one break is the with the spelling b r a k e so how you will understand which break is to be used at which place first understand the sentence the driver pushed the break as soon as the lady indicated at the hotel where she wanted to take a break at driver ne brakes push kiye द ब्रेक्स गाड़ी के जो ब्रेक्स होते हैं एज सुन एज जैसे ही लेडी ने इंडिकेट किया होटल की तरफ जहां वो ब्रेक लेना चाहती थी 
fine the break here the break here indicating is indicating the stay the rest that we take fine jo hum pause lete hain that we uh, rest ourselves at some place that is the break here and the another one break here is the break that we use to stop something fine most commonly to stop our vehicles fine so this break refers to the stay to stop to pause fine and the break with the spelling b r a k e it refers to the some it you refers to the breaks used to stop something fine another thing is here the break b r a k e is a noun and this break can be a noun and a verb as well to break something fine so which one will we use here here we will use the break breaks or break and uh, here we will use break fine the driver pushed the brakes as soon as the lady indicated at the hotel where she wanted to take a break at जैसे ही लेडी ने इंडिकेट किया उस होटल की तरफ जहां वो एक ब्रेक लेना चाहती थी ड्राइवर ने अपने ब्रेक्स पुश किए मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टू एग्जांपल्स दैट वी हैव स्टेयर्स एंड स्टेयर्स हियर्स द एग्जांपल व्हेन शी फेल down from the she received no help but a lot of and you are given these options to fill either stairs stairs in both the blanks stairs stairs with the spelling s t a i r s in both the blanks stairs stairs or stairs stairs fine so first understand the example when she fell down from the stairs she received no help but a lot of stairs जब वो सीढ़ियों से गिरी तो उसे बिल्कुल भी मदद नहीं मिली बट वॉट शी रिसीव्ड अ लॉट ऑफ स्टेयर्स स्टेयर्स वॉट स्टेयर्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर द स्टेयर्स आर द आईज ऑफ पीपल फाइन द लुक दे गिव द क्विक लुक फाइन सो विच स्टेयर विल बी यूज हियर एंड विच वन विल बी यूज हियर इधर सेम और इधर डिफरेंट और लेट्स जस्ट गेट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट the word with the spelling stairs s t a i r s it refers to the steps the steps of the houses like when the steps are the stairs are the passage from when you are to reach from one floor to the another floor seedhi aap jinhe hindi mein bolte ho and the another one stairs it refers to the eyes quick attention glances of people fine so jab wo seediyon se giri when she fell down from the stairs she received no help but a lot of stairs jab wo seediyon se giri to use help bilkul nahi mili but bahut logon ne attention pay ki that is quick attention the sudden attention that you pay when something wrong happens or you get to see something wrong is being done you pay quick attention like sudden noises bursting of a tire whatever fine so moving on to the last example that we have for today's lesson immigrant and immigrant so fine this is this example is pretty much confusing and it is too important so guys please pay key and keen attention the first one with the spelling immigrant refers when you leave a country or 
or when you move in to a foreign country and immigrant with the spelling i w m i g r a n t it refers when you enter a new country fine so uh, just for instance let's take an example that uh, you have left india and you are staying in uh, us for the last 3 years i have left india four years back and then i moved into miami us fine so when i left the india i become i became an immigrant to india but immigrant to us why so because jab maine india ko choda to main india ke liye ek immigrant ban gaya fine because maine india ko chhod diya hai fine and when i moved in to another country i become immigrant to us kyunki jab aap country ko chhodte ho then you become immigrant for that nation that you are living to and when you enter to another country you become an immigrant for that new country fine so guys i hope the today's lesson was pretty much helpful to you in case you find any sort of doubts to put in the comment sections uh, of the youtube uh, youtube video of this channel fine we will try to work out all your problems and in case you want me to introduce some more of the um, more of the uh, what we read today homonyms you can ask me i can provide you the pdf files or simply what you can do you can like uh, prefer so many examples there are a lot many what most understandably you can do is to learn to practice and to keep in mind the spellings fine following these steps the homonyms wouldn't be an big deal for you so thank you so much for being so patient and i will be back with another much more interesting lesson for you next time thank you so much